Welcome to our circuits evening prayer online. I'm going to be leading the prayers this week. My name is William Booker. I've recently retired as a minister within the circuit. I'm going to be focusing on the prayers that are called the O Antiphons, the seven prayers for seven days in Advent. They're carved around the edge of this beautiful wooden Advent ring, which was given to me on my retirement by the circuit. The beginning of each of those prayers, that are called the seven antiphons of Advent, begin with the phrase, O, oh, and then a title in Latin, actually, that is from the Old Testament scriptures, referring to the Messiah when he comes. And so they all refer to Jesus, different aspects of his ministry, of his nature. Traditionally, in the church prayers, these antiphons went before and after the singing of the Magnificat, the hymn of Mary that she sang when she met with her cousin Elizabeth, both of them having become miraculously pregnant, filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit and prophesying. So today we're going to be focusing on the Magnificat as our scripture reading and also on the first of these O Antiphons, which today is in Latin O Sapientia, which means O Wisdom. I'm going to pop these Advent candles back in the Advent ring now. And because this is the second week of Advent, I'm going to light the first two. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God. In your love, you create all things through your eternal word. Blessed are you, Lord our God. In your love, you redeemed the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord our God. In your love, you empower your people through the gift of your Holy Spirit. Clothe us now, O Lord, in your forgiveness, for we come into your light. Fill us with your life and lead us on as Jesus, your Son, comes to us. For we ask this in his name. Amen. Our psalm is Psalm 8. You have set your glory above the heavens, out of the mouths of babes and infants you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God, and crowned them with glory and honour. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name, in all the earth. Amen. The 
And so come, we come to the Magnificat and the O Antiphon for today. And I'll sing it in a mo modern translation, but uh, you'll recognise it and the tune from O Come, o Come Emmanuel, which are a translation of those O Antiphons, which we do use regularly in our Advent worship. So I begin with singing the <coughs> Antiphon. O come, O come, O wisdom from on high, embracing all things far and nigh, in strength and beauty come and stay. Teach us your will and guide our way. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. And the Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O come, O wisdom from on high, embracing all things far and nigh, in strength and beauty come and stay teach us your will and guide our way rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to you o israel So let us pray. O oh God, help us to become willing to be lowly, servants of others, waiting to hear your word, waiting to do your will, that your kingdom may come on earth and that through us your people, this world and all that live on it may be delighted in, cared for, and find the fulfilment of your purposes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for all places where there's strife and war at the moment where the pride of human beings tries to trample on the will of others, trying to make things conform to our own will, rather than allowing things to find freedom and be at peace in themselves, even if opinions don't fully match what we think. Help us to make space for others in our lives.
just as you have made space for us in your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And when we pray in our hearts, in a moment of silence, holding before God anyone we're aware of who at this time needs to feel God's support, God's presence or challenge, God's peace or healing. The Lord hears our prayer. Thanks be to God. And so together with all God's people in heaven and on earth and with Jesus, let's join with him in saying the prayer he gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses <clears throat> as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And the collect for this, the second Sunday in Advent. <clears throat> God of all holiness, your promises stand unshaken through all generations, and you lift up all who are burdened and brought low. Renew our hope in you, as we wait for the coming in glory of Jesus Christ, our Judge and our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. May God's blessing be upon us all.